Hello and welcome to the SQL Server Architecture video series. In the previous video, we discussed about the physical files in the SQL Server. In this video, we are discussing about how data is arranging in the physical file. That is pages and extents. In SQL Server, data files contain data. Then how data is stored in the data file? that describes pages and extents. Pages are the smallest layer storage of the database. So SQL Server writes all data rows on pages. Extents are the combination of eight data pages. Then what are the pages and extents? The fundamental units of the storage in SQL Server is the page. The disk space allocated to a data file in a database is logically divided into pages. SQL Server writes all data rows on pages and all data pages are the same size of the 8 GB. The initial unit of the SQL Server storage is the pages. Every pages contain 8 GB of size. Then Extents are the collection of the eight physically continuous pages and are used to efficiently manage the pages. All pages are organized into extents. Extents are the combination of eight pages of size 64 KB. Extents contains maximum of eight pages with the size of 64 KB. This is the structure of a page, a data page. In this page, 8 KB of each page is reserved 96 bytes for the system information and rest for the data. This contains page header with the information of the page and data rows. Other than this, page footer contains point to the next page. So here we can see the page header and data rows. The page header contains the system information and rest of the area is used for the data storage. And every page page footer pointing to the next page. The collection of these eight pages is known as extent. In the extent, all the eight pages are not creating together into the extent. That depends on the requirement of storing the data. Then on the data page is full, it will create another page in the extent. This is known as the page split. Here we can expect a question. What is page split in SQL Server? A page split occurs when an insert or update statement is adding data to a page, but there is no space for this action. In this case, SQL Server creates a new page and moves some of the data into the new page. This is called as page split. That means page split is happening while an insert or update is adding more data into the data pages. Sometimes no enough space to store this data in the data pages. In that time, SQL Server creates a new page in the same extent or in the different extent and moves some data to the new pages. This is called a page split. Based on this, extents are divided into two types. Then what are the two types of extents? First one is uniformed extent and next one is mixed extent. The uniformed extents are owned by a single object. All eight pages in the extent can be used by a single object. Then what is mixed extent? Mixed extents are the shared by up to eight objects. Each of the eight pages in the extents can be owned by different objects. The uniform extents contains all eight pages in the extent can be used by a single objects. And in the case of mixed objects, in the pages is used by different objects, uniform extents. 
uniform action contain a single table that is table one single object is sharing this this extent in the case of mixed extent it is shared by different objects that is table two table three and different indexes this is mixed extent next page types as we know pages are the smallest layer storage of the database file at the disk level in sql server to store the data in sql server it is support multiple pages for the storage based on the data type these are the different types of pages used in the data files of sql server databases first one is data data rows with all data except text index image example in sql server most of our user data is storing in the data pages but it is support not support the blob type storage blob type data next one is index the index entries details the text and image is used to large object type data like text index image other than this uh, xml and worker ma war binary max type data also storing this uh, page next gam global allocation map save the information of the allocated extents then sgam shared global allocation map save information allocated mixed extents then page free spaces information about the page allocation and free spaces indexed allocation map information about extents used by a table or index per allocation unit next bulk changed map information about the extent modify bulk operations since the last log backup the differential change map information about the extents that have changed since the differential backup these are the page used by sql server to store the data in the data file in this video we discussed about the pages and extents this is the part of storage engine of the sql server architecture how data is arranged logically in physical file in the next video i am going to discuss about the some of the other components of the storage engine thank you for watching this video please support and subscribe the channel